So, I was just packing up for a ski trip I'm going on in a couple of days. I was getting my camera gear together, so I thought, good opportunity to do a what's in my camera bag video because that's what everyone seems to do. So I thought I'd do one as well. So here it is, what's in my camera bag, ski edition. Let's start with the bag itself. It's a KNF concept camera bag. KNF do some good gear. It always seems good quality, but a bit more affordable. So that's why I got this bag. Really pleased with it so far. As you can see, it's had quite a bit of use. There's a bit of dirt on there, a bit of Scottish dirt, a bit of Cornish dirt, a bit of Yorkshire dirt, just a nice mix of dirt. A sign that you're using your camera bag well. That's what I think anyway. So as you can see, I've got a gorilla pod attached to the side there. Super useful, pretty much take that everywhere. Use it for vlogging, use it for little tripod shots. Seems like a really well-built bag, very comfortable, no complaints, quite a few pockets. So let's just start with the front pocket and uh, rain cover that comes with the bag. That's uh, something that I've definitely used in the past. And the only other thing I've got in the front here, I could fit a laptop in here. In fact, yeah, let's, uh, let's get the laptop. Laptop, here it is, MacBook Pro. I will be taking this, so let's get that in the camera bag. So there we go. So as you can see, I have my laptop in the camera bag. The only other thing here in the front is a GoPro chesty because I'm gonna be testing out chest mounts and helmet mounts while I'm skiing. Going into the main body of the camera bag, you will see that the, the camera is, is not in the camera bag because I'm recording with it right now. Uh, but the lens that I'm taking is in the camera bag. Let's uh, show you that. It's a Sony G Master 16 to 35. Not a cheap lens, but a really versatile lens. Wide enough for vlogging and can also get some nice cinematic shots. So this will be attached to the camera I'm using to film the Sony A7S 3 and that will go just in this uh, this place there. I'll put a shot, a top-down shot, so you can see the camera bag with the A7S III in there right now. I'm hoping to get some drone shots when I'm there. So I have the DJI Mini 2, which is just the tiniest little thing, so perfect for traveling, and some ND filters. The Mini 2 remote and spare batteries. Oh, I've got this little aperture light, which, which I love. I've used this quite a bit since I've had it. You can use it with the diffuser on the front, or if you take the light out, it's even smaller. And if you're just in a situation where maybe you're vlogging somewhere and it's low light, or I've been in situations where I've been interviewing people and you just need that extra little bit of light, maybe to just balance out a bit of window light that's coming in from one side. They're about a hundred pounds and you can set it to be lots of different colors. You can have uh, warm light on there as well. You can have it as warm as you want uh, or as white as you want. So I just bring that along. I don't know if I'm going to need it on the ski trip, but it doesn't take up much space. It's not very heavy. So I thought I would put that in there as well. So the other camera, the camera that is in this bag is a Sony ZV-1. This has actually got uh, an additional wide angle lens attached to the front. It's a very compact camera. So when you take the wide angle lens, which is not a Sony lens, when you take that off, you've got a very, very compact little camera that will fit in your pocket. I'm probably going to take this in a ski backpack with me because if I'm doing any vlogging while I'm up on the slopes, this is the camera that I will choose to use. I just prefer using it over my iPhone because it's a little bit better in the wind because it's got this wind muffler on and I think the footage looks a little bit better. The iPhone often looks a little bit over sharpened. The iPhone's a great phone and I might do some filming on it, but if I can, I prefer to film on a 4K camera and this is just the perfect thing to walk through airports, vlog with, take it on the slopes and it's not really going to take up much room. It's not very heavy. Even with this additional wide angle lens on, uh, it's a very, very small camera. So that's in the camera bag. And if I am vlogging with this, I use uh, this Manfrotto Pixie, which is just a brilliant little thing, really well built. Again, very tiny. And that just will screw in right into the bottom of ZV-1. So that's my sort of compact, spontaneous vlog set up. I do have an additional lens. I mentioned the 16 to 35. I always carry with me 
the lens I'm actually filming on now, and it is a Sony 1.8 50mm. Let me tell you, this is one of the best value lenses I think you can probably buy. It's about £150, but the quality of the lens and the bokeh that you get off this lens, especially when you've got a bit of distance, you know, when you're in the mountains, it looks phenomenal right up there with lenses that are so much more. This G Master lens 16 to 35 comes in around somewhere between 1500 and two grand. Very expensive lens compared to 150 pounds. So I think everyone should have one of these nifty 50s. The, um, the 50 mil lens that is obviously on the camera right now, uh, the one I've got here is the Canon lens. I used to shoot with a Canon camera. So this is the uh, nifty 50, the Canon nifty 50, but it's a similar size to the one that's on the A7S III. So I thought I would just pop that in the bag to show you. Then I have my newest acquisition, the GoPro Hero. 10. I've not used this one yet. Really looking forward to using it. Going to test it on the ski slopes. Going to test it with some mountain biking as well. And a few accessories. I got the little shorty tripod. I thought that little combo is super compact vlog setup. If I was in a situation where I didn't even want to take the ZV-1, then I can go even smaller and I can do a little bit of vlogging with the GoPro. Do have to test the sound quality on it because it's just the onboard microphone. I need to see how that sounds. If it's not acceptable for vlogging, then I might have to get the media mod uh, and I can attach an external mic onto the GoPro 10. But for the most part, it will not be used for vlogging and talking to. That will be used for just going, I was going to say fast down snowy mountains, but I don't really go that fast. I'm not the best skier in the world. I'm okay. I can get I can get down a blue run, maybe a couple of reds. I'm hoping the GoPro is going to make me look better than I am. Anyway, GoPro 10. I have some spare GoPro batteries in here. I've actually got the Enduro battery that I paid a little bit extra for. That's in the GoPro. And also in here, I've got some microphones. I have just invested in the Rode Go Wireless 2 system. There they are in there. The uh, microphone I'm actually using right now and that's on the camera is the, uh, the Rode Wireless Go, the original one, which has been one of the best purchases I ever made. But I do do videos with other people. I collaborate sometimes. And uh, when we both want to have the wireless connection, we're wireless from the camera, but we're connected. I'm connected to the other person with a wire. So I got the uh, go to because me and the other person, whoever that may be, can, can be independent and not tethered. Spare batteries for the ZV-1, some charging cables, uh, spare batteries for the A7S 3 Something that I haven't put in here, which I think I should take is another external mic. A lot of the time I do try and vlog with the uh, with the Rode Wireless Go setup if I can, but just as a backup. You see, that's the, the good thing with um, with doing this video because it's it's making me really think about what, what I need to take. So just bear with me, I'm gonna get an external mic. I'm gonna bring the Deity D4 Duo because you've got the versatility of being able to vlog with it and have it directional to you, but also you can flick a switch and it will pick up sound from behind as well. So if I'm walking around talking to people, it will pick me up on the rear microphone and it will pick up the people in front of the camera on the front microphone. And I'll find I'll find a place in the bag. It's, uh, it squishes down, it's quite small inside the, uh, the wind muffler there and that is everything that will be in my camera bag for my ski trip I'm just gonna get it all back in there now I had it in there so nicely in there and now it just looks such a mess on the table I'm gonna arrange everything on the table and just take a shot of it all out of the bag which you will be seeing right now and then I'm gonna get this all back in the bag ready for my ski trip so there you go that is what I'm taking to France with me hopefully I can capture some nice footage and uh, shoot some good content out there. Let me know if there's anything else that you think I've forgotten that you think I should take. If there's anything that you can think of, please let me know in the comments down below. That will genuinely probably help me out because I'm always a bit on the last minute for packing. So uh, if I've forgotten anything, then I would really appreciate it if you could let me know. Uh, thank you. Great. All right. If you like this video, give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you do that, I will see you in the next video, maybe in France. Bye.